precisely, you know, freedom was bound up almost irreducibly with the dismantling of hierarchy, as in it was the sin qua non. If you want to have freedom, you have to dismantle the hierarchy. That was the basic understanding, yeah. um, which you broadly find. Um, and this has also been pointed out beautifully by Charles Taylor. It's been beautifully pointed out by, um, by Robert Pippin as well. I think it was mostly drawing on Charles Taylor. That um, the dismantling of the hierarchy was, was part and parcel of the assertion of autonomy and the assertion of freedom. Um, however, what I feel is that when you look at what I've argued in the book is that when you analyze various Enlightenment thinkers and their attitude towards um, hierarchy and what it means to them, it's actually they're very much missing the mark when it comes to what did... If you look at the intellectual pedigree of the notion of hierarchy, they are assuming, broadly speaking, of course, they assu generally assume that all hierarchy must be conventional and ultimately arbitrary, right? And that's true. I mean, you know, isn't it convenient that we're all here, um, but one of us just decides that, you know, there's a hierarchy and I happen to be at the, the head of the hierarchy um, and, you know, I'm going to appoint my close friends around me. They're, they're going to be the next rung in the hierarchy and, you know, the people we don't like are going to eventually be at the lowest rate. Of course, that, that sounds awful, and that is an impediment to freedom. But the point is, the traditional under metaphysical understanding of hierarchy has nothing to do with that whatsoever. It's an understanding that embedded in being, there is an intrinsic hierarchy. The most fundamental aspect of that is simply the superiority of intellect to instinct. Right? And so, insofar as human groups and societies and associations genuinely participate in that real metaphysical hierarchy, then there is a real metaphysical hierarchy there. But it's ultimately an inward hierarchy. It's not ultimately an outward hierarchy.